Hello YouTube, this is Lucas Johnson and I will be doing a quick video on polishing instrument keys and bells, necks, any kind of metal that's on an instrument specifically for clarinets. Um, I will be doing a short little video. So here we have the bell of a LeBlanc Alto clarinet and I have shined a little bit of this part on the outside and <clears throat> I have not shined the inside right here or the bottom part quite yet and I haven't done a super thorough job on here yet so that's what I wanted to show really quick it's pretty shiny as is but I'm going I'm just gonna do a short little tutorial on if you have a really dirty bell or neck or whatever so this is moss metal polish right here and this is what I use for all instrument shining so what I like to do, and you can put it on the cloth too if you're super picky about metal to metal contact, but so just a few little drops, one, two, just put a few of them here and there, and a little back there, and I'll do the inside afterwards. So then you're going to want to take a cloth that you don't use anymore, or a cloth that you can get dirty and um, wouldn't recommend using paper towels because that will, over time, if you polish it frequently, it will put scratches on whatever you're using because it is kind of wood. So um, the name of the game when you're doing this is friction. You want to put a lot of friction, which means squeezing it tightly and twisting like this. And it will actually look dirtier when you're polishing it. You can see that there's black residue on there and just keep polishing it like so and get all that tarnishing off and it'll still be a little dark so what you're going to do next and look at look at how black that turned my rag so next you're going to take a little section of this and dip it down into some just normal water very minimal amount of water and on the part that you've just polished, do the same thing. You can twist it a little lighter now and just kind of slowly massage that black stuff out of there. And by the time you're finished, you should take a different side or a different cloth that doesn't have any water or polishing anything on it and dry it off and it looks incredibly well shined and it you know like a professional shine job so it looks extremely nice it works very well on silver or nickel I've noticed that with nickel it will get more tarnished or it will get tarnished more quickly after you do this than silver will so the silver takes longer to get tarnished again so that is on a LeBlanc alto clarinet and I've so far I've done the bell and the neck and you can see how much shinier they are than the rest of the instrument so I'm gonna go ahead and shine the rest of the keys and everything and so we'll see how that goes thank you guys I just wanted to show you how to polish instrument keys if you want to see more cool clarinet stuff like this like the video subscribe to my channel and comment any questions that you have thank you have a nice day